Shalom y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all doing great, you know, minding our business. If you haven't watched my last video, please go ahead and check that out because that video is actually um, me organizing my apartment. And if you want to see me apartment hunting in new york city there's a video before that this video is gonna be a little bit different i decided to talk about things i will not be doing when baby gets here it's something my husband and i've been talking about setting boundaries i've been on tiktok seeing women talk about hey listen this is what we're not doing and yeah we gotta respect you know boundaries of people so I have a few and I just want to share with y'all some of them. The first one is no one gets absolutely no pictures. I say no pictures for anyone because first of all, my husband and I, we don't want our child on social media. Like we're not even going to post a baby on social media. Secondly, we want to try and prevent people from basically sending our baby's picture out to people, especially those that we do not talk to or people we do not know. We don't want our baby on social media. Like, we, we just don't want that. And we don't want people to announce our baby's arrival, especially if we haven't done that yet. It's a no for me. Most of these boundaries are from me. My husband just agrees with me. <laughs> I guess to give himself a peace of mind, cause you know. The next one is no visiting until four months old. I say until four months old because first and foremost, I just had a baby. I need to heal. The baby needs to adjust to being on the outside world. And my husband and I, we new parents. We need to be able to adjust to our baby and adjust to our new life, our new routine. You get what I'm saying? The other side to it is for the baby's safety. Why would I want a whole bunch of people in my baby's face? It's RSV season, it's gonna be cold. Listen, I don't got time for that. I've heard cases where unfortunately babies have died because of RSV or like other cases because family members came to visit too soon or didn't follow proper like protocol on like washing their hands or are they sick and this and that. I, at the end of the day, I gotta protect my baby. We just need our personal time as a family. Next one is no kissing. Don't, I am so adamant about this. Like I'm so serious. Like. Why are you kissing people babies? Need I say any more? You do not kiss nobody baby. That That's all I gotta say. Like, I'm not even gonna try to explain that one because we already know. No kissing no baby. The next one is no unannounced visits. I will not open the door for you. Even without a baby now, I'm not opening the door for nobody that I was not expecting. Because who are you? Why are you just showing up? First of all, that's man weird. Second of all, I don't even do that. If I even wanna go over to my sister-in-law house, I'm gonna ask her ahead of time, hey, is this a good day for me to come over and see the kids? I'm not just gonna show up. I even asked my mom, hey, are you home? Can I come over? Come on, have some manners. Next one is no unsolicited advice. <laughs> no unsolicited advice advice about being a parent especially if you have no children or you're a deadbeat parent i'm not trying to hear none of that and now i'm not trying to say that i'm opposed to getting help because absolutely i am not opposed to getting help but i will ask for help when i need it i always do that but for you to just talk my ear off oh you can't do this oh you can't do that i'm not i don't want to hear it i will not listen to you and I will kindly tell you, please stop talking to me because I find it rude. Clearly I'm a new parent, but I need to figure out what type of parent I am. Just because something worked for you doesn't mean it's going to work for me. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want no one to rob me of, you know, 
being a first time mom, learning new things. Like obviously I'm gonna bump my head along the way, but yeah, I'm gonna ask for help. This one is like a very controversial one for a lot of people, but if you never checked up on me, baby, or my husband throughout my whole pregnancy or supported us in any way, you're not going to see my baby. You're not gonna get no pictures of my baby. I don't care who you are. You could have been the grandpa, the grandma, my sister, the cousin, I don't care. Because to me, it's just like, why were you, where were you for the nine months? You didn't even say, hi, hello, how are you? You didn't even say, drunk girl, are you okay? How was the baby? No. So why do you think you should get to see our baby? Absolutely not. No, baby not gonna know who you are. Just like how you was non-existent the whole nine months, baby gonna be non-existent to you. This one is standard, wash your hands upon arrival and you gotta wear a mask. I don't care if they say COVID done. Listen, you're not gonna, you know, basically follow my boundaries because I don't like when people do that. And I'm, again, I'm just trying to protect my baby from being sick. Next one is, don't call my baby your baby. That's something that upsets me most because it's just, to me it's weird and also it's not your baby. Let's be for real, it's not your baby. You know, don't do not do that. Mm -mm. I can't, I'm not even going to explain anymore. Just don't do it. Next thing, um, no weird comments or questions about wanting to change the baby's diaper or giving baths or calling the baby inappropriate things because I will wring your lip, okay? I think that's weird. Who just wants to change baby diapers? Who, who does that? That's just weird to me. My last one is if baby is crying, don't try to shh, shh, shh. Oh, stop crying, stop crying. Oh, no. Give the baby back to mom or dad. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also want to know, what were some of your boundaries or what current boundaries do you have with your children? See you in my next video.